Hey there everybody, what's new in the whole universe? I hope that everything is fine and I'm a Russian man who brings value through my own experiences. And today we're gonna talk about how to learn new languages through writing. I'm a Russian man who have been learning writing and no, who have been learning English for three years and time on my progress. And I noticed that when I started to do writing, then I, I'm not like a person who, who goes to the, his pockets to find new words to speak. I hope you understand it. When you can communicate with someone, you can ask questions and you always have thoughts in this language. Yes, I mean this, when you can think in this language and you can really bring bring some value, bring some words to another person that you interact with, okay? And today we're gonna talk about maybe three reasons, five reasons. I hope that today will be three reasons why you should start writing, okay? Because it is my improvisation talk, I a little bit of prepared, like Mark Twain, prepared improvisation is the best improvisation, okay? And uh, <laughs> let's talk about things. First, I noticed when I do writing, then I have a really bigger opportunity to speak about something. I don't know how but it works. I've read one book about plasticity of our mind, of our brain, and it says that when we, when we write, then we can improve our Broca's area. Broca's area inside of our mind. And uh, this area, this area shows kind of, uh, this area works in a way of speaking, it, uh, it contains speaking tools, also writing tools, or writing this, and also our mind thinking. And when we write, we, we improve this area. It means we can, if we write, we can speak better and we can think better, okay? It is first thing. Second thing that I noticed that we kind of do imaginary work. I don't know how it works, but imaginary work in a way of like we structureize inside of our mind pictures, like it is fantasies, like it is pictures, tables, diagrams, graphs inside of my mind. Maybe I'm a mathematician or something. And uh, when we write, we kind of create these pictures about specific language when we write about this language for example when i do writing about prefixes suffixes about uh, some of the word creations conjunctions nouns and verbs and i notice it and i write it in a russian language about english i write i imagine i write in a russian language about english language about prepositions, about nouns, about something uh, from Russian language. I think in Russian, in Russian right now I think about English. And in this way my English language improves. How it works? I don't know. Maybe I, I use another my area of mind and I do kind of drawing, structurizing things. Like I prepare boxes, prepare boxes for my next words, that uh, my mind will not think uh, after about it. I think this way it is how it works after when we do translating. You know that we have diplomatic translators of countries, yes? Some people who are diplomats and they are like do political talk sometimes and they translate speeches and their mind may be thinking in this way too like uh, they have kind of connections with their own language and uh, with the with language that uh, people use to speak and uh, with language that they should translate to i hope you understand of one side and another maybe because of it because of it uh, our mind works uh, better and uh, when we write about this language the same with guesses it is we created two things 
First, it is uh, writing helps to improve our broadcast area. Second, it is for our structurizing. Structurizing in this language, even if we use our own language. It is kind of motivation, maybe, maybe associations we have more with this. Yes, maybe associations. It's like when I, when I will watch Harry Potter a lot, then all my mind will be about Harry Potter and I will be more focused. Maybe because of it. Because of it, when we write about English in a Russian language, or maybe you write about Spanish in English language, then you have more associations about it. And you, after that, when you learn new words, you already kind of connect with associations. Okay? And we, through this uh, second part, went to the third. Third part of our talk, last but not at least. One moment. It is when we do writing, we can do writing guesses. Guesses about language. For example, you can guess what the word it is. I'm learning right now Spanish. Spanish, Spanish, Espanol. Ambre, ombre, ambre, ambres. <laughs> I don't know, me llamo, Igor. And uh, I noticed when I do guesses about words, and kind of create random random symbols on on the my on the my thing like random words even i don't know what they mean combination or maybe i will combination or maybe i will write something like lornis lornisio lornisio kind of it is maybe spanish italian you understand i create my own words uh, made up words I create them, but I guess that it will be kind of this word because reaction it is reaction. Yes, and when I do combination, maybe it is yes. Learnation it is maybe learning process. Yes, and I create specific uh, things. Maybe they are not correct, but I create them and I communicate through them. I create my new language. It is kind of English Spanish language, Sp Spanish English, Spanish English here, and it is kind of link between English and between Spanish. It is you are going forward. It is better than sitting always in English. You are going forward. You are going to the Sp Spanish English and then you go to the Spanish. Okay? It is kind of you are near, closer, closer to this language on this uh, line line i imagine that this line like uh, from point a to point b we have a train and uh, he goes and uh, point uh, of span english it is closer to the this spanish okay and when you do guesses then you make yourself kind of closer to this thing to your final destination Okay, I hope you understand my talk, my spiel, my rant. And uh, guys, uh, it is a new interesting thing. And uh, finally, finally, when you learn about language, kind of what's the learning process? It is guesses. And then kind of you should test yourself. Then test, am I speaking correct? Am I speaking grammarly correct or not? You ask yourself about it. Yes, inside of your mind that works. And uh, you try to ask this. And uh, learning process it is guessing and testing. And through the testing, you do kind of uh, taking away the trash, rubbish. It is not a trash. It is treasure. Treasure for another room. For example, if you created Spanish English that you are maybe a Tolkien. Yes, Tolkien, G.R.R. Tolkien. You create it for someone else. And uh, maybe you will write your book and uh, it will, will be used uh, by Spanish English. Yes? Okay? And I hope you understand it. And uh, it is really interesting. And uh, guys, learn languages through writing. Writing helps. And also, I maybe bonus for you. <laughs> t -t Total bonus. I want to... One more thing say, to say, when we do writing, sometimes we speak in inner voice, in inner voice, some letters. For example, I write K-K-O-L, call, 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 
call yes call i write it i don't know what it, does it mean it is not call like c a l l but k o l and it is call also collisio i can write k o l i z i o yes i can write them and inside of my mind i speak them with inner voice when i write and it is already improves our mind it creates another shapes it is it is creating of new kind of possibilities combinations that our mind can speak i hope you understand me our mind can speak in this way of combinations i don't know how to say it correct it is uh, combinations of music combinations of sounds phonemes and if you have them already then you can only apply it to another place maybe your guess will be correct through testing testing that i already said to you uh, you remember yes that uh, i said about testing you kind of check them oh you say collisio oh maybe yes maybe it is correct but if it is not correct maybe it is for another language correct that you will learn nextly in the next time okay jesus christ it is so interesting fascinating and uh, hugely improving and i understand that our <laughs> our world it is all about learning i hope that you understand my talk my spiel and uh, let me know in the comment section below did you understand me or not it is really will be useful to let me know about this because uh, i will understand am i am i right am i wrong or maybe you will apply it or not let me know it will be really interesting thank you see you next time be cool always go forward improve yourself daily and always learn new stuff through writing learn through stories comedies write new things write new paragraphs uh, and uh, chapters capitalizione yes and everything will be fine see you next time bye bye